welcome back to my channels my channel my pretties so this is part two of my unboxing shopping haul with Shein. still not sponsored by them or afterpay but in your class in the future so i have two packages this time this one's a little bigger i feel some stuff in there but not a lot but again, most of my stuff were smaller and then like the bigger things were like stuff. And then this feels like all the nails I ordered. So I was a little hesitant to order like press on nails from Shein because I've seen on TikTok how they look in like the advertisement pictures, like just looking off. But Compared to getting press-on nails from Amazon, Jen, you the most I've spent was about like $250, $275 a box. The cheapest was like $190. And that's that's even when like the with all like the glitter and all that stuff. So yeah. So this one, yep, these are the nails. I can see a lot of box. So I have a lot of French nails, so I have one. We're gonna do a count. Two, three, four, five. They didn't package this one really well, so but five, six. Seven, eight, nine. These are fall nails, but I'm saving these till September. So nine, ten, <laughs> eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. So I've ordered 15 boxes. This rounded up to, I want to say, 30 something bucks. That's excluding shipping and, and the tax. So, I'm going to show you guys most of these because I have like a lot. So, this first one, I'm going to show you guys. Kind of hard to see. But it's supposed to be kind of like a stiletto shaped nail with the like butterflies and cloud art. And then some of the nails will have like little rhinestones. I think these are cute. I don't know if I'm going to wear these as of now because... As of recording this, this is August 3rd, and my birthday is August 10th, and that's seven days, so, yeah. And then I got these because I was like, oh, these are so cute. These would be cute for fall. So these I will not be wearing until maybe, like, September, like, mid, late, like, mid to late September when, when it starts, where the colors are starting to change, and this is more in. And then I have French tips. Where some of them are like dark colors and light colors and all that good stuff. I think these are cute. These ones I was kind of like interested in. So it's like a green, earthy tone green marble look to it. So it like, looks like there's some gold and some flower art. These are cute. Then we have some, na some cute yellow coffin nails. Sorry. I not realize I'm, I'm having it off camera. So yellow coffin nails with yellow butterflies, a little rhinestone, and like an ombre look to it. I just think these are so cute. And then most of these come with like, instead of I believe like nail glue, comes with kind of like a nail tape that you can put on too. This one is a classic, just pink, a pink French tip. I believe these are coffin if I'm not mistaken. And then I have these which i think are kind of cool so some of them are ombre look but the main three kind of have like a marbly watercolor look with a clear 
background, which are cute. Yes, yes. These are just a classy pink and white ombre look with a couple of them having rhinestones on the side. You know, if I'm not mistaken, these are a mix of just plain clear, not plain, but plain white French tip with a mix of glitter on some of them, which I thought was actually cute. So yeah. And then I have these where they have little hearts and little pink little glitterly, glitter, glitterly, glitter, um, French tip. These would be cute for like a Valentine's Day look or for my birthday. And then, oh, I'm, okay, sorry. I'm watching, um, MTV because, um, if I'm not mistaken, Jer the new season of Jersey Shore Family Re Family Vacation is coming up. And this season, Sammy Sweetheart is returning. So I'm watching that season because of her. I'll be honest, watching... I watched the first one or two seasons and then after a while it felt weird. Because I'm like, these are people who are like in their mid-late... 30s entering 40s and acting like they're still in their 20s but yeah so these are Cofferdales where they have just a nude color and then some blue marbling watercolor look to it so yeah and then I have these where it's a French tip with a rose gold coating on it and these are kind of cool. I kind of like these. So, these are like a bright neon green French tip with some squiggly white lines. And then these two have like a, I want to say like a snake glued on them. And then this one has some rhinestones at the bottom, like right where the cuticle will meet. And then these, I think I'm actually might wear for as my birthday nails. So, these are long square nails so so from the first two you see they're pink with a sh a chavon look where where the pair line lines start meeting so the inner one is like a dark pink and then you have white and then you have like a light pink pink for like the top part of the nail and then these two have little butterflies pink little butterflies and then I have another so these are coffee nails again French tips some of them have like XO on them but it comes in pink again I don't think either this is gonna be birthday nails or save it for save it for um Valentine's so like not those not those not those i have like so many boxes of nails now don't we have those i know there's lord jesus but yeah these i feel like i would definitely wear around valentine's day so i will save those for a later time i have like more nail press on nails coming in from amazon and i have like two more from coming from Shein, but I got free shipping on that. So yeah, so we're gonna go into the second package. If, I can, if I'm not mistaken, this is gonna have like my rugs for my bathroom. I don't know about my towels or anything like that. And I'm trying to also decorate my room at a, at a decent price. All right, so open it now. All right. Yep, so these have my rug. So these are for the bathroom. I'm gonna show you guys. I was like, I need pink. Like, I'm a girl who likes pink. So from the feels of it, it's not bad. So this, I believe, this is like where you can um, place in front, where I can place in front of my shower. Cause I do not like stepping in my shower, stepping out of my shower with wet feet like I, I don't know why some people are okay with that like even then I will put towels I will put a towel in front of like the bathtub or whatever to step on it 
but like look at it like y'all cannot tell me this is cute like don't tell me this isn't a cute pink so that will be going in front of my bathroom not bathroom but the um tub not tub but shower y'all know what i mean Okay, so this is like a face towel. All right, so I'm going to be starting to turn up my volume so I can hear what's going on. <laughs> Not a poly this area. Because, like, honestly, AI is kind of getting low key scary. I cannot be, I'm not, not even joking with you. Oh, these are for, I got some more press on nails, but these ones are actually for the toes. So I'm saving these for Vegas because I'm going to be wearing like a lot of open toe shoes and I don't want my ugly toes looking like that. So I'm going to turn up the volume a bit. I'll be honest, I should not have been watching Jersey Shore like at like 11 or 12. All right, so yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think, yeah, this is like a face, like a face towel. So I can like either like hang it up with this little hook that they sewn in or like fold it and place it somewhere where we fold it back up. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's, like, I want to say some hearts. And they said there was, like, mushrooms, like, kind of embroidered in the design. But, yeah. And then, I think this is... I think, like... They, um, what is that? Like, what is that one thing where, like, they, like, where they open, where they have, like, this bag and, like, vacuum the air out? So, that's what it was, this is, like, makes it worse as I have literally zero nails. So, I'm, like, got to use something to, like, poke. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I think these are, if I'm not mistaken, is either like the big rug that's gonna go in my, in the bedroom, even though I have like enough carpet. Actually, okay. All right, so looks like it might have been. All right, so this is all like sewn in together. So this is for the toilet. This is the bigger rug that is going to be in my room. And then this is the rug that goes right in front of the toilet. So all of this pretty much ma matches. Maybe there's a slight different, different, different coloring, but it's pretty still similar. So yeah. And then I have a little itty bit. So this is a headband, like a fuzzy headband that I, I believe came with cuffs too, that I would, that you can use, like put it on, do your skin routine, so you're not getting your hair wet or anything like that, as well as some cuffs. I don't know why, but I actually like this black. It's like super cute and it feels actually super soft. Set that to the side. And then we got some jewelry. So, you know, I'm a Leo, so we have to, like, have that jewelry in a lot of my, in the outfits. So, this is a silver. I couldn't find it in gold ring, I know, but gotta make what you do. Alright, so. So, from the looks of it, it's, like, kind of more like a be kind of more like a choker on me but so i'll let you guys see it i don't know if you can see it so it has like that like 90s 
font, 90s type of font. So this, this is Leo, and from the looks of it, there's like little rhinestones on it. And then it's like, for me, it'll probably be more like a choker, but girls who have like thinner necks will probably be able to just like hang it. So yeah, so I'm gonna set that to the side. And then I have a little ring. Even though technically I'm on or anything like that, but never hurts. I have to like poke. Or I'm gonna have to hold on. Use a lighter. Got this from Amazon, so. There you go. Ooh. Do not do this at home, though. Don't do not do this at home. <laughs> don't try this at home, okay? I just had to do it because, again, like I said, I gave my scissors anything. So this is a ring. I got this in a size 8 because I have really fat fingers. So let's... I'm like trying to get it out. So yeah, so let's see. This is like 50 bucks. So this is like a teardrop cut. So yeah, so it fits the my ring finger. So so like yeah. So like so when I'm out with friends or whatever, just be like, oh, I'm married or engaged. <laughs> but I think I thought it was cute and it was like about like 57 cents so but it'll probably turn my finger green if I wear it too long though <laughs> and then I got another necklace but this one's gold like I had to like cut my nail down to the quick and it kind of just hurts what you gotta do what you gotta do so this one if i'm not mistaken it's kind of like i don't know if you guys would understand this reference or this disney movie so like the twitches which star tia and tamara maori in 05 and i can't remember if it was I, if i'm not mistaken it was tia who wore like the moon pendant so that's what it kind of reminds me and then from the looks of it in the inside of this little thing you have the constellation of your zodiac and then on here on on the on the cardboard it says leo and then goes july 23rd to august 22nd and then it goes leo signifies power and exuberance you are a natural born leader and love to be center stage. Your creativity and strength of purpose make you a very goal oriented. You have endless enthusiasm and a zest for life. So I like, this is like so cool. It has like the blue moon. It kind of reminds me from Twitches. Like you, you have to like really be watching like be watching Halloween movies on Disney Channel to get that reference. But it's like so cute. Kind of like it's like so cute i i would see myself wearing this from time to time from time to time okay we got a few more i have another necklace but this one's in gold Ooh, oh Lord. where is it Sorry, I just like don't remember where I placed the lighter. Oh! I just stuck myself. Please don't do that, y'all. Like, if you get that type of tool, you gotta do that. Alright, so this one is 
is a necklace with your birth year. So, as you guys know, I'm turning 25 next week. Oh, I'm trying to be careful because it looks like, like, I'm trying to see if it's, it looks like it's tiny bit tangled, which makes me kind of nervous. Alright, there we go. Yes, be very careful because last time I had a necklace that came pretty tangled. I accidentally broke it trying to just like maneuver it. And this is what. And that's what's like making me nervous is like it's like right there that's like a weird date to have the um Vimos. i'm just like that's kind of like weird to me all right all right so we got that All right, there we go. That took a second because I was trying to make sure. God, necklace. So, okay, so you can see it says 1998. That's my birth year because I'm turning 25 next week. So I thought it would be cute to have it in gold and then, like, wear it around my neck on, with certain outfits. Like, it never hurts to have, have some jewelry. And then I think we got... A few more items in here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm excited about these. All right, so let's open these. I think that's... Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything in there. So I'm, like, super excited about these. Because I thought these were so cute. So these are like hoop earrings, but they are shaped in hearts with little rhinestones on them. So let me see what I would look like. It. Okay, so this is the right because you want the rhinestones facing outwards. And I have like super tiny ears, so I got like really. Okay, so it's in there, and then make sure the clasp is in there. Okay, so it's kind of cute. Like, ooh, like, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so, yeah, I will definitely wear these for next week as well as for Vegas. Because I thought these were so cute. So, like, so these came in silver. And they're just so cute. All right, so we got another... Leo necklace. If you know me, I am a Leo heart to heart. So yeah. So I'm gonna open this. So this one also came in um silver. I couldn't find it in gold. I hope if it wasn't sticky. Alright, so this time around. Hold on, you have like, it's a layered necklace, so, hold on, it's a bit tangled, so I'm just going to try to make sure it's tangled in there, all right, so I'm trying to like make it look decent for you guys to see, so you kind of see what it's kind of talking about. All right, so... 
there we go so again it's layer necklace so the first layer will be my zodiac symbol with the little circle and squiggle curved squiggle line and then second layer is like i want to say about half of the zodiac the constellation up there yep 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 and then the last layer leo which i think is honest again i like i like layered necklace but also have like a hate relationship with it because you're trying to make sure that like the like each chain isn't getting tangled up which makes it very difficult to keep it looking neat in pictures and just in general so this is the last These are the last thing. I don't remember what this was. Oh, no, no, no. Now I remember. I remember now. These were like really like long dangly earrings. That you can. Oh. That you can put on. Which I'm afraid of is the back piece. Okay, so like okay. right, I will see what it looks like. It might not work because kind of giving luxurious on a budget kind of look i don't know if i would be able to like put this on when i have like my nails in but i like it it's okay it's giving luxurious like <sighs> i can't put it into words but like you know like um i kind of don't want to put the second pair to see what i would look like with both both earrings on. okay i'm kind of liking it like all right so like adjust it a bit so it's like kind of on the earlobes but i have like really small earlobes and then the rest just dangles and i just hold up but like yeah i will say i definitely like these i don't know when i would wear these Cause I feel like these are earrings you would wear with like a long satin dress, maybe like velvet, kind of like a dark red, maybe, maybe, um, sorry, I got this, um, black kind of dress with like some like Louboutins or something like this, but it's really cute. I would definitely not lie it's just like giving luxurious but on a budget like i'm a luxurious person but i i'm on a budget too <laughs> so yeah i i don't know when i would wear these but these are really cute though but like my main thing is i don't like the earrings not these earrings but any type of earrings where it has like a little clasp like a little thingy in the back where you have to push it all the way to your earlobes for it to stay in because the moment you lose that thing game over and then also kind of am a little worried because this isn't like staying exactly where the earlobes is so yeah but again very cute and just 
guess she's so dangly and I didn't notice that it goes from like shortest to longest so yeah like that's really cute so but like it's just again I'm afraid that if I like lose a little piece for the back it's like game over and then when I now have my nails on it's gonna be um, a little worse worrisome trying to get them on but yeah I definitely definitely do like these these are more like yeah but I definitely don't know what I will see myself wearing them but I think they're cute but yeah so I just have I believe if I'm not mistaken two more packages one from Shein and then another one coming from Amazon which I'm annoyed about because it was supposed to come Tuesday and as of me as of now recording this, this is Thursday and they said if I do not receive my package by Saturday I can demand a refund which I'm definitely gonna do because at this point I'm like you delayed this order twice what the hell but yeah but I'm not gonna worry about that I have nails galore that I'm gonna try um I just don't I'm definitely thinking of which one was I looking at like the little butterfly nails I was looking at that I showed you guys um earlier I just gotta find it because I have these ones these really long ones I'm gonna do these and then I don't know they're probably not gonna last long until my birthday but fingers crossed but besides that i hope you guys are enjoying your day afternoon or evening until then bye guys